Hello, this is Kit. Welcome to another video. This time we'll continue with an Excel question. Uh, this is a paper two, but in this question we won't need to calculate the Thompson one 2019. So this is a this is the paper just a few months ago. Uh, in my opinion, this year paper is actually quite easy. Most of the questions are straightforward. Even the tricky ones are not that difficult. For example, this one, this is the last question of this paper, so it's supposed to be harder, but still it's pretty, it's not that hard, in my opinion. So look at the question, we have a, have an equation of power 5, so there should be 5 root. We have 3 root 1, uh, they're given in, the log, uh, given in the form of a log, log A, log B, log C, base 2. There's two imaginary ones, one is di. And I hope immediately you know the last one that means minus di because complex root comes as conjugate pair. First part of the question, I need to show that a times b times c is 8. Then at this moment, I hope some of root products of root would come to your mind. First, because my title said so, the video title. Also, this type of question is really typical to set up to be a sum of root product of root 1. So let's recall the sum of root product of roots. Since this is a power 5, we have 5 roots, this is alpha 1. Let's say they are alpha 1, 2, 3, alpha 4, alpha 5. Then we know the sum of root is minus b of a, where b means the second coefficient. So it's minus minus 3 of a. a is the first coefficient, so it's 1 in here. So it's 3. Also, we know the product of roots, which is if we multiply them all, we'll get the last coefficient over a, so it's q for 1, except the sign alternate, so b is always minus, then positive, negative, positive, negative. So the product of roots is minus q. So we're ready to do part a. I want to show that a times b times c is 8. Then you could be tempted to do the product root <coughs> sorry, due to the fact that they're multiplied together. But uh, you could try that and <coughs> it wouldn't work. So as a matter of fact, you do the sum of root. So the root are log a log b log c plus di plus minus di. Uh, this should be 3. Okay. Obviously, di plus minus di, they cancel out. And the fact that we do sum of root is because if you have log adding up, due to the property, it becomes log multiply. This is why we do the sum of root. So a, b, c is obviously 8. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Nice. Then we have a, b, c being a geometric sequence. So this is the second time IB have such a setup, combining sequence with sum of the product of roots. The last time it was an arithmetic sequence. The trick here is really similar. Now you could have, since this is geometric, there's a common ratio. So you could have say A is the first term. And so B can be written as A times R and C can be written as A times R square. That would be right. But it would make part B a lot harder. Okay. A smarter choice is actually to make B your first term. So let B be B. Then C would be B times R, right? Because there's a common ratio. Then the problem is, what should, how should we write A? So we know if we multiply A by the common ratio R, we should get B. That means A should be written as B over R, right? Because B over R times R would be B. Then part B can be done rather easily because A times B times C is A. So if A is B over R, times b times c, c is b r is a, then the r instantly cancel out. So b cubed would be 8, uh, which means b is 2. Is that what we want? Uh, 1. Why is it 1? Why would the other root be 1? Oh right, the, the root is log b base 2. Okay, and for the root log b base 2 would be Log, B, uh, log 2 base 2, so it's 1. Yup, right? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. 
yeah, seriously, I haven't seen the marketing scheme, so I could do something wrong. But I want to give you a feeling of how I would actually appro uh, approach the question. So I didn't read the answer yet. Uh, C. Given that Q is eight d square, find the other roots. So uh, that should be straightforward. Oh, it's nine mark. Oh, okay. We'll see. Uh, Q is here, so probably using product roots. So the product are log A base two, log B base two, log C base two times di times minus di, and we know it should be minus Q. Uh, what do we know? We know log B base two is one. Log C is log C. D times D is D square. I times I, is, I square is minus one. Minus minus one is plus one. Is minus q, but q is d square, so d square, and then what do we have? Log a times log c equal the d square cancel out minus eight. Okay, uh, what else do we know? Uh, here we know b is two, so a times c is four, so c must be four over a. So, uh, C is 4 for A. Then, uh, I don't know. I hope this, this will work. Uh, it seems it would because I have an equation in terms of only A. So, one equation with one unknown. I can probably do it. I can, oh, I can expand it. Log 4 base 2 is 2, so times 2 minus log a base 2 times log a base 2, so that log a base 2 whole square. This should work. Uh, you probably know what we are heading to a quadratic equation, so we are at the 8 to the left. Uh, wait, is this a plus? This is a plus, crazy, because, because there's nothing here, right? So uh, we'll divide a negative. On both sides to make things nicer, and we will factorize it. So log a base two is four or minus two, which means a is either sixteen or one over four. Yeah, so we know a. You you uh, should we find c? You you could have go to find c. But but if you look at the equation here, A and C are symmetric, which means if you swap A to C and C to A, you actually get the same equation. What that means is, if one of the quest one of the answers is A and the other is automatically C, okay. For example, if if A is sixteen, then C will automatically be one fourth, and when A is one fourth, then C will automatically be uh, sixteen. So we don't have to find C; you already have it, okay. Uh, so what do they want? They want a root. Again, the root are the log of them. So you log 16, you get 4. You log 1 fourth, you get minus 2. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, so they are the roots. So see, not really a difficult question at all. Uh, but I hope I show you how you approach a question. Uh, yeah, more video will be coming. Comment down below if you want me to do on a specific question or topic. See you later.